Hey guys, Guitar Shop TV here at J. Rosen Guitars in Emeryville, California, which is in the Bay Area. And um, Jay has given us um, uh, permission to photograph some of his coolest and rarest vintage uh, inventory. So I'm going to check it out and show you a couple of great Gretches. Okay, now this is not one you see every day. This is the Gretsch Monkey's Guitar, 1967. Wonderful uh, condition. You see with your classic uh, Gretsch Bigsby. Um, Hylotron pickups, master volume, etc. Now this guitar was built um, for Mike Nesbitt of the Monkees. Uh, very popular um, TV show during the, um, during the 60s. And it was very much in the um, the whole Chet Atkins series uh, image. Uh, very cool, very rare, you just don't see it around that much. As you can see on the headstock, it has the Monkees guitar logo. Again, not something you see all the time. This, this era, the, the, the Country Gentleman was uh, probably the most popular in the Chet Atkins series because of its association with George Harrison. You also had the Tennessean, uh, a favorite Harrison uh, uh, axe, and the other uh, uh, companion uh, axe from the, uh, uh, from the Chet Atkins series in Nashville. But the Monkees guitar was certainly patterned after that design, and it was very cool. Very cool and very unusual. Not something you see all the time. Here's another one from the same era. This is a Gretsch 3610 Cat's Eye. Very rare, not something you see all along. Cat's Eye, of course, because of the distinctive f hole uh, cutaways. And you know, what was also interesting about this guitar is Gretsch started putting a block inside the guitar. Um, these are the um, uh, Hylotron pickups as opposed to the Filtertron pickups on the, um, uh, on the, the, uh, the Monkees guitar. Gretsch Bigsby. Block in the uh, in, in the center of the guitar to prevent the uh, uh, the uh, feedback howling feedback, and it's just a very cool, very distinctive uh, a thumbnail thumbnail inlays up and down the rosewood fingerboard, high lowtron pickups. It's very cool.